This is the Global Economic Scrap Metal Commodities and Recycling Report by Bentley Roll-Up Trailers and Open Top Gondola Trailers, January 14, 2019. This is a special remote edition. Last week, prices and economic reports were mostly mixed. Looking at the left side of this chart, U.S. steel production fell slightly. The great news is production is well ahead of last year as the economy remains in a slow growth mode. Oil rose a big $3.40 a barrel on OPEC production cuts, which tightens supply, which leads to higher prices. There was also positive news that China and the U.S. are making progress in trade talks. U.S. oil production remains steady at a record level of 11.7 million barrels a day. This remains a great American industrial story and great for jobs and the overall economy, including great for the U.S. trade balance. Iron ore rose $350 to $71 a ton after hitting a recent low as markets work to stabilize, yet a concern about slowing global growth. Scrap steel number one heavy melt remained at $329 a gross ton as the week started, but most markets were down $35 to $40 a gross ton or more as export markets were limited in some cases. There was also a surplus of scrap due to many scrapyards held back material from the market in December to lower 2018 taxes. High road coil steel fell to a one-year low of 34.58 per hundredweight as markets remain under pressure due to the higher interest rates and demand problems due to the recent very high prices that tariffs had allowed. Stainless 304 scrap fell to a new multi-year low of 24 cents on global market softness and great supply. Copper rose 2 cents to 266 as marks suggest the combination of slowing global industrial production and interest rate stabilization. China slowing remains the key reason for downward pressure on copper prices. The five-year copper chart shows copper near the about 18-month low it recently hit in response to the global slowing. Aluminum fell 2.6 cents to an almost 18-month low on slowing demand and solid global supplies. If this continues, we'll soon see major layoff announcements in the aluminum industry. Job openings in the U.S. for November fell a bit, but remained very high. After a decade of increasing, they are down slightly on the U.S. slowing, especially in construction, while warehousing and transportation increased. Unemployment in the euro area, whose economy is larger than the United States or China, had their November unemployment rate fall to 7.9%, the lowest since October 2008, more than 10 years ago. Great news to help offset some of the global slowing we are seeing. U.S. mortgage applications for the week ending January 4th rose a huge 23.5%, the biggest gain in applications since the week ended October 2nd, 2015. Refinance applications rose 35.3%, which will put money in consumers' pockets and help the economy. Annual inflation in the U.S. fell to 1.9% in December from 2.2 in November. It's the lowest rate since August 2017, mainly due to decline in gasoline prices. On a monthly basis, consumer prices actually fell 0.1%, the first monthly de decrease in nine months. Low inflation is a key to keeping low interest rates. Note, oil and gasoline prices are on their way back up, though. Wall Street's Dow Jones Industrial Average rose a big 565 points on the good news on the China talks, along with the low inflation number. This is a reminder that registration is open to the great annual ISRI meeting and trade show. The Institute of Scrap Recycling Industries meeting is now a must-go-to in that it is a great opportunity to see every major supplier to the industry, including Bentley, and network as well as attend great seminars. Register today. As always, feel free to call or email me with any questions, and we hope all have a safe and profitable week.